in this video, you will compare the complementary error function and the error function. We begin with the complementary error function, which is equal to our formula ERFC of the x values. Enter. And the error function, which is equal to our formula ERF of the x values. And we chart this. Insert chart. And we'll use scatter chart. We'll use scatter chart. This is the scatter chart. And on the series, we use to show the trend line. And the polynomial will be polynomial to the degree 8 and use the equation as label and locate it at the bottom for comparison with the regression coefficients so here we have the trend line and the trend line equation or the polynomial of ERF and ERF C function the ERF and the complementary ERF function Next, we continue. We factor in the negative sign. Okay. Now they are in the same, they are parallel. In this area, you add, you factor in one plus. So one plus. Now they are all in the same trend line. And the trend line equations are all the same. We'll calculate the regression coefficients using Linus. To do that, we complete the Linus matrix, the Linus polynomial matrix. So this is equal to R A formula, R A formula of the x values raised to the power 0 to 8. Enter. Now that we have the Linus matrix, we calculate Linus. Linus data y and data x. That's for the complementary error function. Next, we continue with the error function. So Linus data y and data x. Here you have the polynomial regression coefficients of the line of the ERF function. Let's compare it with our output in the chart, the polynomials in the chart. So we have the coefficient of x to the 0, which is 1, x to the 1, which is 1.12, x to the 0 is x to the 2 is 0. This is very small, that is 3.94 times 10 to the minus 16, which is already 0 x cubed it is negative 0.353 negative 0.353 x to the fourth we have zero here we have negative 7.92 times 10 to the minus 16 this is very small so it's already zero x to the fifth which is 0 0.0786 0 0.0786 x to the sixth which is zero which is uh, 3.96 times 10 to the minus 16, which is very small, so it's already 0. And x to the 7th, negative 7.83 times 10 to the minus 3. And x to the 8th, which is 0, that's 5.55 times 10 to the minus 17. So this is very small, so that's already 0. This completes the use of Linus polynomial regression to compare the complementary error function and the error function.